I got another tabletop uh, knife overview for you guys that I just of some knives I just got. First up is my favorite. It's the uh, United Cutlery Rampage. This is a an assisted opening knife, and it just opens like this. It has a nice United print on uh, trademark on the blade. The blade itself is a uh, three and one eighth inch AUS six stainless steel. It comes pretty sharp from the factory. The blade itself is uh, made of two different materials. The uh, red part right here is uh, aluminum. <clears throat> and this uh, black and silver parts are uh, ABS plastic. Now when you get, wow, well, you got to be careful with these uh, this is the opening knives because the uh, last one I had, the uh, the uh, supports right in here started coming apart. Then eventually this uh, bolt came off. It was pretty much stripped from all the use, and the thing just came apart in several pieces. But so far I've been uh, playing with this uh, thing, opening it and closing it uh, many times. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever yet. And this is a United Cutlery, so I've never had a single problem with United Cutlery knives. So I think this will be uh will last quite a while. And the next knife I have is uh, also from United Cutlery, the undercover push daggers. It's a two-piece, uh, not these are two-piece knives. They come in a Kydex sheath. These are both, both these blades are one-piece 420J2 stainless steel. They're off uh, three and three-quarter inch overall. Blade length is uh, two and one-eighth inch, double blade, double-sided. Here's one, here's the other. And the, uh, also comes with the, uh, two nylon straps. This one right here, uh, to put, to put like, on, your, on a belt or something. And this one right here, I guess, this is nylon and elastic. So I guess this is to put on, like, a, your hand, uh, arm or hand or something like that. Of course, this is tiny. Of course, I got I kind of got big hands, so. <clears throat> and I was testing these uh, earlier, and I found the best way to hold them is right here, between your pointing and middle finger, and like that. I've tried doing it between the middle and uh, ring fingers. Didn't really uh, was very comfortable, so I just kept it like that. And another thing is, these are made for stabbing, for lunging. These aren't very good slashing, uh, knives for slashing and stuff like that. Because just the way of the, uh, the handles, just if you slash like this against uh, a hard, uh, harder target, it's going to hurt your uh, back of your joints there. I've tried, yeah, I, I tried that one. I tried slashing when I was testing it. They're not really made for slashing, just like the name, push daggers. They're more ma made for uh, pushing, stabbing, lunging, stuff like that. And the way these are basically designed is, you could put this uh, sheath on your belt, on the back of your belt, with the two knives on each end, and you may, uh, make it easy to conceal. I have uh, red reviews. That uh, these uh, knives, this uh, sheath isn't too good when it comes to holding knives. And I've uh, tried to uh, test these as best as I can. I've shaken these, shaken them violently. 
they're still in there. Only thing I had did only thing only uh, chance I had of these slipping out when I was using this the leg strap and just flopping it around and the uh, all the forces from that uh, all that uh, momentum actually caused one of them to loosen up. I'll try to reenact that for you in uh, some other time. I just want to uh, quickly do this and then upload. But that's basically it. Those are my two new knives. That's all there really is to them. Nothing, nothing really fancy to really show and talk about. So I shall end this video right now.